quality of this video is probably going to be horrible because I am using an old laptop. Let's start. So the first thing you want to do is open Roblox Studio and load the base plate. Now open the toolbox and change the models to plugins. We are going to download a free plugin called Load Character. Click on the free one and install it. Now open Load Character and type in your username. Make sure you click Spawn R6 otherwise the textures will get mixed up in Blender. Now you can add a new face and change the hair of your avatar. This part is optional. I have made a tutorial on how to do this. Now you need to right-click on your username in Explorer and go down to Export Object. I'm going to find a file to save it in. Now you need to click the link in the description and download the rig. Just click download and open the file when it's ready. First click rig then default. First we are going to fix the settings. Just follow what I do. Now you need to press B on your keyboard and drag the box over the rig's head. Press X on your keyboard to delete it. Now click the rig and go to Shader Editor. Now open this section here by dragging it and use plus on your keyboard to zoom in. Look for the orange textures box and click the file icon. Now find the texture of your Roblox avatar. It should be where you saved it in Roblox Studio. Now you need to click File, Import, Wavefront, and find your Roblox character. Go to Geometry and tick Split by Object. Now use the Rotator Move tools to move your character away from the rig and turn it the right way around. Use B to highlight the head and move it onto the rig. You can delete the other body if you want. Now we are going to Roblox Studio to find a model. This part is also optional. Once you have found the model you want, export it as you did with your avatar before. Now import the model as a wavefront. Now move the model to the side. Now click on a part of the rig and rotate it. You can also use B to select the whole rig and drag slash rotate it. I'll speed this part up. It's almost ready to render but first we need to add a camera. Go to Add and click on Camera.
Now you can position the camera. Click this to see what it will look like. Don't worry, it will be clearer once it has been rendered.